A new era of iPhone cooling begins but not without challenges. According to an internal source, Apple is quietly preparing a thermal revolution for the iPhone 17 Pro. At the heart of this transformation is the long-awaited vapor chamber VC cooling system, a groundbreaking first for the iPhone lineup. It's a bold engineering leap, signaling Apple's growing urgency to tackle a critical issue, heat. But while the technology holds massive promise, early insights reveal that the design is still in flux and several hurdles remain before it can be fully unleashed. Vapor Chamber revealed what it is and why it matters. Leaked imagery of a pre-assembled thermal plate showcases a beautifully engineered copper structure with intricate microchannels, strongly hinting at the Vapor Chamber's role. This isn't just a new part, it's a thermal reimagining. The chamber is expected to stretch across the logic board and possibly even the surrounding modules, significantly expanding its cooling reach. Unlike the graphite pads Apple currently relies on, Vapor Chambers harness the power of phase change. Liquid inside the sealed chamber evaporates when heated travels to cooler zones and condenses back into liquid, creating a continuous thermal loop that draws heat away more efficiently than ever before. This system is built to keep the iPhone cooler even during the most intense workloads, 4K video rendering, console-level gaming and now on-device generative AI. Why the vapor chamber is more than just a cooling upgrade? With the powerful A19 Pro chip pushing the iPhone into new AI territories, heat is no longer a side effect. It's a fundamental engineering challenge, and Apple knows it. That's why it's reportedly experimenting with lighter chassis materials like aluminum, which could improve heat transfer and allow better integration of the vapor chamber into the device's frame. The goal? To push heat away from the core and out through the structure, cooling the phone from the inside out. But not all is smooth sailing. Despite the excitement, our source issues a stark warning. The iPhone 17 Pro is still grappling with serious thermal concerns. While the VC system is technically impressive, its real-world efficiency is under scrutiny. The heat generated by the next-gen chipset and AI workloads may still be more than the design can currently handle. This may explain Apple's interest in a uniform, wide-area heat spreader, something it has never before used in an iPhone. It's a sign of just how urgent the thermal crisis has become. A strange design choice. Why the camera gets hot, too. One detail that raises eyebrows is the unusual extension of the vapor chamber toward the camera module, a region not typically known for intense heat. This suggests a dual purpose, not just cooling but leveraging the metallic camera frame as a passive heatsink. This hybrid cooling strategy shows Apple's ingenuity, using every available surface including structural components to radiate heat outward and keep performance stable. A break from the past, the iPhone 17 Pro's vapor chamber marks a definitive shift from older designs based on graphite layers and thermal paste. This advanced system is expected to remain exclusive to the Pro and Pro Max models which have the internal real estate and the thermal pressure to justify it. The standard iPhone 17 variants will likely continue with conventional cooling setups, what it could mean for you. If Apple pulls it off, users can expect smoother gaming and AI use without overheating, less thermal throttling under heavy loads, cooler device surfaces during long sessions, better overall energy efficiency. But the caveat is real. If heat isn't properly dissipated, it may pool in undesirable zones, affecting both comfort and performance. The vapor chamber is powerful, but it's not a silver bullet unless every component works in perfect harmony. Final thoughts, a risk worth taking. Apple's decision to introduce a vapor chamber in the iPhone 17 Pro is a daring step, a signal that the future of mobile performance hinges on smarter, more aggressive thermal engineering. It's a leap toward a cooler, faster, AI-powered iPhone. But as of now, it's still a work in progress. The design is evolving, the challenges are real, and the stakes are high. Apple is pushing boundaries, but only time will tell if this ambitious new cooling system can live up to its promise when the heat is on. Apple is preparing to shake up its iconic iPhone design with the iPhone 17 Pro, and it's more than just another hardware tweak. For the first time since the iPhone X, the Apple logo is being relocated in a bold new position. Instead of sitting just below the camera module, it's now heading further down toward the center bottom of the device. This discovery, confirmed by direct contacts within the case manufacturing industry, signals a fresh chapter in Apple's evolving design language. One of our trusted partners who specializes in crafting accessories for the iPhone 17 Pro lineup has revealed they're already gearing up for production with this new layout in mind. Let's dive into why Apple is making this move, what it means for you, and how the industry is responding. A logo redefined, why Apple is moving it. Back in 2017, with the launch of the iPhone X, Apple bid farewell to the home button and embraced a full-screen OLED design. As part of this transformation, the Apple logo was subtly shifted lower to balance the larger camera housing. Now, with the iPhone 17 Pro, the logo is moving even further down, closer to the device's center bottom edge. Why? It's likely part of Apple's broader vision to create cleaner aesthetics and align the logo more harmoniously with next-gen hardware, especially the redesigned camera system. This small yet significant shift could redefine the visual identity of the iPhone, while reinforcing the brand's unmistakable presence. Early ripples, what this change means. 
This redesigned logo placement isn't just a cosmetic update, it's a ripple that could stir the entire accessory industry. Moving the Apple logo down may disrupt Apple's MagSafe system, which relies on precise alignment for charging and accessory connectivity. Some case makers are sounding the alarm, concerned that their current designs, especially those showcasing the logo in transparent cases, may need urgent revisions. Stock has already been produced based on the previous layout, and many manufacturers are holding off on announcements until they receive final confirmation from Apple. Designing around the change, transparent cases and MagSafe. In response, accessory makers are brainstorming innovative solutions. Transparent case designers in particular are reworking their blueprints to ensure the logo remains visible and aligned without compromising MagSafe functionality. Apple is reportedly testing new designs too, such as clear cases with repositioned cutouts or internal structures tailored to the updated logo placement. While opaque and colored cases are less affected, the transparent case category a favorite among Apple fans who love to flaunt that logo, is at the heart of these design shifts. Industry strategy, cautious but creative. One accessory producer has confirmed they've paused production entirely while waiting for official confirmation. Why? Jumping the gun could cost companies thousands in wasted materials and confuse consumers eager to accessorize their next iPhone. Most industry players are now monitoring the situation closely and preparing flexible solutions to adapt quickly once the design is finalized. Balancing innovation and functionality. For accessory brands, maintaining compatibility with MagSafe while embracing this visual refresh is a high-stakes challenge. New design prototypes might include modular layouts, optimized magnet placement, or internal tweaks that maintain the perfect balance between style and performance. It's unlikely Apple would alter MagSafe's core structure without major forewarning. So most manufacturers are preparing smart, subtle tweaks, not wholesale overhauls, to stay aligned with this design evolution. To our valued customers, if you've already purchased a case from our shop, don't worry. This logo shift is purely aesthetic, and your case will still fit and function perfectly. But if you'd like a case that complements the iPhone 17 Pro's fresh new look, we're offering you an exclusive 15% discount on our updated designs. And for all new customers, starting today, every iPhone 17 Pro or Pro Max case you purchase from us will feature the new design, with the repositioned Apple logo crafted with care and ready for the future. A newly surfaced video of an iPhone 17 Pro Max dummy unit is stirring excitement and confirming earlier whispers that Apple's next Pro Max could be noticeably thicker than its predecessor. First reported in March 2025, the buzz began with claims that Apple was beefing up the chassis of the iPhone 17 Pro Max, possibly to accommodate a high-end vapor chamber cooling system. This cutting-edge feature, if true, could be a game-changer for performance and might explain the added bulk. While both the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max are expected to include this advanced cooling system, it's still unclear whether the smaller Pro model will share the same increase in thickness. The latest video shared by Leaker Imagine Boo focuses solely on the Pro Max dummy, and though it's just 34 seconds of someone slowly rotating the device in hand, the added thickness is visually apparent. No dimensions are given in the video, but the design seems to match earlier leaks that put the iPhone 17 Pro Max at 8.725 millimeters thick, up from the iPhone 16 Pro Max 8.25 millimeters. That might not sound like much, but it's a significant shift by Apple standards. If the added depth isn't entirely for cooling, it could point to another major upgrade, a larger battery. Analysts at Apple Insider suggest the 0.5mm bump could mean up to 8% more battery capacity, a welcome boost for power users. Of course, it's worth noting that Majin Buu's leak record is hit or miss. He did, after all, incorrectly predict dual front cameras for the iPhone 15. But this time, the visual evidence seems to back him up. And there's more. Earlier in February 2025, reports hinted at reverse wireless charging coming to the iPhone 17 Pro lineup, meaning your iPhone could soon charge your AirPods or even other devices. With all these potential enhancements, one thing's clear. The iPhone 17 Pro Max is shaping up to be bigger, bolder, and possibly one of the most powerful iPhones yet.